day 10 of this transformation. We got arms today, kids. We're hitting biceps and triceps, antagonistic body parts. Again, um, I'm gonna use the resistance bands in some cases. If you don't have them, that's okay. I'll give you alternative measures. But one thing I'll make mention on, remember your, your nutrition needs to be specific and exact. That's why it's so important for you to weigh all your foods. This is a science. Don't think you can do this program and do your own cardio. Don't think that you can throw in like a keto diet or a different nutritional protocol to go with this. Don't think that you can swap and change supplements as you need to get the results that you want. It has to be exact because I've done this before. I've calculated it down to a precision mathematical uh, answer for you so it's very very important that you do everything exactly as I say all right anyway enough talk let's get this done let's go hit some guns Triceps done, we still got biceps to go. Triceps are crazy pumped, I'm not just saying that. I uh, started off with overhead tricep extensions and I did that within a Smith machine. Obviously, if you don't have a Smith machine available to you, you can use a barbell or an easy bar. For extra resistance and contraction at the top, I use these little bad boys here over both sides. I did three sets there. I believe I did about 15 repetitions and then uh, on the last set I did a drop set and I think I came down to 10 repetitions because failure really set in and then I took the resistance bands off and just did the weight that was on the bar which I think I knocked out about another seven or eight reps there. So once I'd done three sets there we moved on to the seated rope extensions. Why I seat or why I sit I should say is because I find it just isolates the area, it takes away the equation of the torso coming into the uh, action. So you'll notice as I was coming down, I was spreading that rope as hard as I possibly can or as far away as I possibly could. I did uh, 10 repetitions like that, and then I put my hands together and uh, extended it down again, and I was able to do about 10 more repetitions there. Once I did that, I jumped off. I had a couple of resistance bands over the cross, the crossbar there. I think I did about eight or nine more uh, tricep extensions here just to really obliterate and take that failure point past failure and past failure again. So then for the second and third sets, which were identical to the first one, I put on the red resistance bands because they're a little bit more pliable. So basically I did 10, 10, 10, 30 reps per set. Once I'd finished with that, I came over to the dip bar here and I used this resistance band, the purple one, because that's pretty tough, underneath the free foot supports there. I knocked out about 10 repetitions that were slow, controlled with a contraction at the top. When I couldn't do any more, I got rid of the resistance band and tried to punch out another six or seven with no contraction, you know, it's just up and down. I did three sets there, resting for about 45 seconds between each set. Triceps are done, so now we've got to obliterate biceps.
biceps done, completed. To begin with, we did the spider curls. You'll, you'll remember that we did this exercise last week. Uh, the only thing that we did different this week, or I did, was uh, as soon as I finished with my, uh, God, what do I do, like 10, 12 repetitions, I stood up and then had the resistance bands uh, at the ready just to curl out another 10 repetitions. So I just did three straight sets just like that. 10 to 12 and then another 10 to 12 with the resistance band. Following that, I did another form of preacher curl. I put uh, the easy bar attachment on the low pulley of the cable machine. I leant back in a squat position, placing the backs of my triceps on the inside of my thighs and kept my arms stable and locked. Again, I was knocking out about uh, 10, 12 repetitions there. I immediately dropped the weight and used the resistance band to knock out another eight to 10 repetitions. Once I'd done three straight sets of that, of like 10 and 10 again, um, we went, came onto the final exercise, dumbbell curls on an incline bench. And I was doing these actually unilateral, both at the same time, making sure as I come up, I turn my wrists as much as possible to really work on the peak of the bicep and uh, 10 repetitions I was able to get out to absolute failure. And then I uh, dropped the weights, grabbed hold of the bands and leant forward. As it got a little bit harder, I just started to lean back just so I could get my 10 repetitions out and rest in for about 50 seconds between each set before uh, going again. So now we've uh, finished with the workout, just wrap up, get our recaged in, and then uh, it's time for my cardio, 25 minutes. Day 10 done in regards to the gym workout. Now you may notice that we, well of course you notice that we started with triceps and uh, finished with biceps. I like to start with triceps a lot of the time because biceps only make up a minority of the arm. The triceps make up the majority. But I find that by hitting it back and forth, that you know the bicep tendons are warmed up, the elbows are warmed up as you're hitting the biceps, the triceps recovering and vice versa. So I think it's a good pairing plus Arms is uh, an area that you can't really have too much of. The only thing that I want to keep pounding into your head is consistency. Don't think that you come in and do a little bit here and a little bit there and maybe fall off on a Friday or on a weekend. Consistency is key. Whatever you do today, do it tomorrow, but better. This is your pivotal foot. This is what's going to give you the energy and the purpose to get through your work days, to spend time with your family, to be a better person to be around. Because if I didn't come here, I wouldn't have fuel for my brain and I wouldn't have fuel for my body to do what I gotta do. But consistency is what brings that to fruition. All right, recage down, time to hit cardio. 